Well, I'm not John, but this is Guitar Stuff with John. Guitar Stuff with John! JP Cormier, here's a Guitar Stuff with John for you for you from the road. Now you've heard me talk about this place, and here it is. Brick House Guitars in Kitchener, Ontario. The man behind the camera is my battle brother, Dave Gunning. He's filming this. Say hi, Dave. I can't see you, but hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and we are on the road on night four in Kitchener, the Registry Theatre tonight, and stopped in here to see what Roger's doing. And Roger's always doing incredible things. You see along this wall, he has all of his FERC guitars. He's had a long, long relationship with FERC. They used to build Stonebridge for him. And now they're, they're FERC, which again, goes to Roger's stand-up character. That, that deal ended, but he kept dealing their company's guitars and they sell more FERCs for him than anybody in North America. And then over here, you got some more FERCs. These set, set and finished guitars. You got cedar, you got mahogany, a layer of A, another nice layer of A. Also, a big dealer at the Godan lines, electrics. And over here on this wall, you got Recording King. Over here on this wall, you got uh, Art Luthery, Recording Kings, a couple of Ferks, more Recording Kings. And if, the good thing about buying a Recording King here at Brickhouse Guitars is Roger's a tremendous guitar tech and player, as I've told you. So every one of these guitars. Uh, what's lacking in quality control when it comes from the factory, Roger fixes them, sets them up, does all the work, free of charge, doesn't tack anything on the price for that. And uh, so if you buy a Recording King, buy it from here because you're going to get it off a luthier's bench instead of a quality control bench somewhere. In, I can hear in Roger region. playing in the other room. Uh, yes. So here in the middle room. We have a, a center piece that holds mostly seagulls. A lot of seagull action and nice ones. He keeps nice ones. I'll in do here. a little cruise around. Yeah, yeah, go all the way around her. I think that's a Gibson there. Is that a Gibson? Oh, yeah, that's a Gibson. Yep. Used but beautiful. On the other side here, we have here's a Bridgeport, which I'll be reviewing right here. One of these. I actually have this actual guitar. This actual guitar here, not this one. Exactly, but my, my, my one like this is on our new album, Leather and Dust. Oh, yeah, right. This is yeah. one I used for uh, uh, Get Over It and um, Sing Now. Okay. Uh, so you're actually seeing instruments that I, you're actually seeing instruments now that I actually play in real life on stage in the studio. Dave plays a guitar from this shop. He plays a Furt that's friggin' beautiful. He's been a Furt user for how many years has it been now, Dave? Uh. Well, 2008. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yep. yep. 15 years. So now we're getting into the one of the reasons I came to the shop. This is the new line of guitar that Roger's working on with Hozen from Maestro Guitars in Singapore. You've seen me review my Dreadnought that looks like this one. I, I love the look of the, those Sunburst guitars right yeah, there. That's, yeah. a, that's a rosewood, and here's a mahogany version of the same thing. Yep. Yeah. So. And they've proven very popular since I put up the video review of this guitar. He has he has two sold. I think they're yep, those they're, those two they're, right they're, there. They're waiting to go out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this it's really catching on because Hosen is just building some unbelievable guitars. I think that those are heading west. Yes. So that's two of them gone: a Sunburst and a Natural, and they're only about thirty five hundred dollars. Mm. So you can't beat the price. It's unbelievable. Let's go hear Roger. Let's go hear Roger, yeah. <laughs> Another treat for you, Jay Flo's on zero there. Yeah. Keep on playing, buddy. This is the sweet shack right here. The sweet shack, the sugar shack. <laughs> Our beautiful host, Roger Payne. Roger Schmidt, keep playing, buddy. It sounds awesome. We don't care what anybody says. You're a good man, Roger. Good man. <laughs> <laughs>
You're awesome, Roger. This is why we love him. <laughs> this is why. Not because it's some like deep emotional thing, it's just because of stupid freaking chords. <laughs> <laughs> so you're you're playing my favorite Gilder. Oh man, this of all time. is so so sweet. This like, is the just... instrument, this triple lock boucher. This is the instrument that led to like some of the biggest parts of my journey with with Robin was this body. Well, you told me, uh, you know, you kicked my ass. You said you got to go check out Boucher, and I was only familiar with the old Boucher's. Yes. And I was saying, oh come on, JP, like come on. <laughs> and you said, no, 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 no. You go down to Nam when you're down, and you check out Boucher, and I did. Yeah. And I started going through the dreadnoughts, and I'm going, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. And I'm not a bluegrasser. I'm a finger sucker. Yeah. I picked up this. Yeah. And it was. My heart melted. I said, yeah. and I looked at Robin. I said, Robin, what have you done? Yeah, <laughs> and that was the beginning. Is impressive. It. Yeah, but this is this yeah. is the very reason that I ended up with my Boucher JP Cormier signature model being this guitar with a cutaway. Right, that's right. Yeah, that's what it is. Because my my regular version that I call Yogi is this guitar with a plain top. And it's still my, one of my favorite instruments of all time. Of all time. It's just so comfortable. Yeah. And that depth here gives you the bass. Yeah. God, what more do you need, right? Yeah. It's so much tone. But it's a lot about his hands, too. You know? Don't let him fool you. It's like fake nails. Yeah. Tell us about what else is going on, because we've, we've seen the rest of the shot. Look, let's just hit these bushings first. Okay. <laughs> You've got some smoke. <laughs> smoke. Well, I mean... Parkour. Like, Par parkour! <laughs> this one. Oh. Madagascar. It's a BG-151 GM. Yeah, I mean, just it's just stunning. Uh, it's the, Roger's uh, one of the premier dealers of Boucher guitars in the grade. world. Master grade, yeah. uh, torrified top, koa binding, and it cuts. Oh, like it cuts, right? Yeah. It's right off. Jeez, so, you're on there. No, in that and then this here, I'm pretty darn excited about. This, this is maybe my favorite Boucher ever so far. And, and for also me, one of my favorites too. For me, it's, I'm just experiencing this the same time as you are. We're one I of the just first, saw one a few months ago. Yeah, we're just one of the first dealers to get it. It's yeah. look at the flame on that. It's torrified maple. Yeah. And I didn't know how he could come up with that because once you torrify wood, you can no longer bend it. No. So I don't know how he figured out how to do that. Leave it to Robin. Exactly. Yeah. But my God, torrified maple. So the whole guitar is torrified. Yeah. The top. The Adirondack. This has the Adirondack. ultimate pack. So this yeah. is everything that Robin could put into a guitar is in yeah. this guitar. Um, they do the best inlay work, but I mean, look how sweet. It's just it's like a grand piano. Right? Oh. Yeah. I, get, I get lost in that. Yeah. This is a treat for me, too, because I never actually watched people play these guitars. It's always me doing it online, but. Boucher Maple jump Jumbo, and it was about three years it took, and something happened. Like it when it opened, it opened, it opened. all the way. Oh wow! 
So if you buy this guitar, it's only going to get better at huge yeah. increments. It's got maybe 15 minutes of playtime on it. So I know. Play it, so. Like this, this guitar is just going to be stupid. In I can tell right away. Like this is this is like drinking the finest wine. Oh right? yeah. You just got to slow down and you know, like some guitars, I, I'd say are shock and awe. Yeah, because yeah. they're in your face. Yeah, and then there are other guitars that no, I'm an introvert. But if you listen to me, <laughs> if you, I'm, I'm the sweetest thing ever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and yeah. so I don't want to shock you to death. I want to I want to melt your heart, kind of thing. And that's what this guitar is. It wants to melt your heart. It does, and it, and it does. It's yeah. ridiculous. All right, so let's move on to something else. We're already on that all day. This is the Chan series. Yep. Uh, and that's a solid. Uh, Wenge back inside. They have cedar and spruce version. Yep. Uh, they're huge. Whoa. Yeah, like, yeah. What's, what's crazy is the price tag. Eighteen hundred dollars. Eighteen hundred dollars. Um, like and, it's and ridiculous. literally like. I mean, feel the back on that. Oh my God. It's just shaking. The whole guitar's alive. Yeah, the whole yeah. guitar. Yeah. And then we have the other. The Bridgeport one, right? Lower series, actually this is a more expensive one, but yeah. still only nineteen hundred dollars. Oh, we also show that one. But I mean the the, the laminate version, which is which actually I've been selling them crazy. I know. Eight ninety nine with a case. Yeah, nine hundred bucks yes, for awesome. a guitar like this. Yeah. This is a solid version, so it's running about nineteen hundred. Yeah. But, Santos Roosevelt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, but so this is like the really Super high end entry level guitar, which when I look at how good guitars were when I was a kid, yeah. this guitar would have been worth a million dollars when I was 12. Like it was, it's oh, that yeah. good. We would have, yes. Yeah. It's, just, it's just built for finger style. Yeah. Well, that's what we did. We, we yeah. designed it from ground up for finger style players, and then real quick. Just want to hit real fast on an Avenir. Okay, so because that's that's also happening. Great. Um, so this is an excellent. Oh yeah. Uh, this is much like the guitar I want to review on my channel. This guy here is Wenge. Wenge is just. Yes. It rings. Right. I have this guitar with a spruce, spruce top, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This is a fan fret. reviewed one of those I showed you the ones that he sold already because of that that video all right so the direction that that Hosen, who is the builder of maestro as we've said and our and Jerry, and and his his yeah um, this is his direction that he's going with so he's going to be in the new year retiring in fact we're showing a whole series of Hosen guitars Wow the maestro name will be transitioning uh, to his name yeah the builders name right Hosen uh, young Ed Rightfully so, because every single guitar has him in it. Like yeah. he's he voices while his team of eight people build the guitars, he actually takes each one and he's, he's tuning it as they build it. So, yeah. literally, you know, he goes through right now, they're doing about 300 guitars a year. He says, I can do about 500, and that's it. Yeah. He's working alongside his team six to eight months a year, yeah, you know. Uh, and so he's basically the Singaporean Robin Boucher. 
is well, very Ronald, similar to what Robin does. It's right? very similar. Yeah. Uh, but the thing is, he focuses exclusively. His his job there is to voice the instruments. Yes. Yeah. And which boy, he learned, can he? Boy, can he? Well, he Damn. learned from Urban Samoji, one of the best in the world, right? Yeah. So what's unique about this? Well, obviously, it's a beautiful cut, a cut of flame maple. But if you look at the back, do you see here? There's a taper. And maybe if you back up, you'll yep. see, yeah, see it now. It's yeah. thicker on this side than that side. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. the treble so side, the, the, whole thing the base is, side is thinner, which gives you better uh, clarity in the bottom end as well. That's right. And projection and more comfort under your arm. Yeah. First time I held one of these this morning, I was like, whoa, this feels weird. So, because exactly. it's a dreadnought body, but it feels like an amp under your arm. Yeah, and you're getting more airspace in the guitar because of the extra added bottom right yeah. but you don't feel it because it's down here right right so it's it's brilliant and, and this is not his invention and he's oh, going no, no, to, no. to 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 uh, point no. that out he linda manzer linda manzer uh, another fantastic canadian, canadian builder. builder leave it to the canadians right linda manzer so just perfect it's unbelievable how good they are This doesn't bother me. That one little, that one extra minute, you, you feel it, millimeters. but you get by it. Right? You get by it, right? It doesn't hurt you. It's no. not. It's like I think I like to have room, right? Yeah, like the all the avenirs that we designed are one and three quarters. Yes. Yeah. And we went even wider here. We went to two and a quarter spacing. Yes. So for those who like string spacing, mm -hmm. the avenirs have that full mm -hmm. finger style finger spacing. So this is definitely a little tighter. But it's very comfortable, especially if you're doing thumb over. Yes, yes. Right, so. so I want to show now. I'm going to play this one if you don't mind, Roger. Go ahead. Yeah. I love this. So this here is another. This is an actual maestro guitar. Mm -hmm. That's his private stock. His private so stock. That's his top. You know everything. This guitar can. runs at seventy-five hundred dollars, which it absolutely should. It's. Uh, so it is a work of art. It's actually Coca Bowl. Yes, yeah, this like. is a work of art. All bound in, uh, well, it's got the bevel too. I love the low profile of the bevel. Look at the back. Yeah. You got the, I love this, taking the mass out of the bridge like that. Helps with uh, That's everything. So smart. Right? Excellent pearl work. Just gorgeous. Yeah. It's and true look pearl. at the back of that thing. Yeah. That's a beautiful piece of Coca Bowl. Unbelievable. Three piece neck. Yep. Flat neck joint. Probably not a bolt on. He's probably using some it's hybrid. Dovetail. Yeah. It's a dovetail. Yeah. Go five tens. And buddy, we've compared this guitar, which is technically an OM body, to is, yeah. to full size dreadnoughts in this room, and it carries. <laughs> So warm and punchy and huge. Wow. The man knows what he's doing. Well, uh, There's absolutely no question. I, I have hard, rarely mind. met someone that passionate. He's just so passionate about what he does. That's why I love to. I've now taken the yeah. call and calling Robin and him and David Mathis the Holy Trinity. Right. Because they're the same. Yeah. They all feel yeah. the same way about the guitars they build. They're obsessed with it. Yeah, they're driven by what they do and yeah. not how much money are we going to make off of this. Or it's, yeah. it's, it's just this passion about how do we get more and more and more out of what we're doing. Yeah. Right? And, uh, so, I really admire that. So we're, I'll close the video with this. I'm going to give you a sneak peek at this because you know what the only thing you should ever trade a hose end for? Another hose end. That's, right. <laughs> That's what you trade for. So the one that appeared in my video is coming back here uh, 
for sale, of course. Right. And it is a Maybe we'll have to get you to sign, sign the label on the inside or something. I may just do that and be aware that it was used on the new album. I've been touring with it since I got it here last fall. And the only thing I would have traded it for is another hose in. And this is the one that I'm taking with me now. Tell me about this guitar. Well, this it's has a, a Swiss spruce bear claw, so it's it's quite a stiff top, yep. which is perfect for you because mm -hmm. you can drive it. It's it's a it's a grand auditorium size guitar, so it's not overly large. And the back and sides, yeah, sound port, bevel, maple binding over back and sides of purple heart. Look at the grain, how this works. It's it's just the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Purple heart. Yeah, it almost looks. To, yeah, it looks like very mahogany. Mahogany yeah, type it's species. Got similar properties Show to the mahogany. fretboarding in there. Yeah, yeah, the fretboard's incredible. So he has all the the abalone, but in there, very subtly, there's leaves of the purple heart. It's showing up on the camera here. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that is the most subtle, intelligent inlay thing I've ever seen. Beautiful. It, they're like little ghosts, little purple ghosts on the fretboard, right? That's awesome. And those are and really done by hand. Those the are veneer right. is Purple Heart. Yep. And we've got the five tens again. Yep. And this thing is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> said about the first one the, the the notes jump up into your hand mm. you know what I mean that it's it's like it's chomping at the bit to go it's that type of guitar Robbins does the same thing Gallagher's do the same thing that they're alive there's this like here's the note just all you do to touch it go <laughs> reviewed and I'm telling you what there, you're gonna be hard-pressed in any shop in North America to find this much quality in one room it's mm -hmm. unbelievable you. you just can't go anywhere and just walk in and go wow mm -hmm. I'm looking at eight different kinds of luthier made high-end guitars that I can afford okay. that's the other thing too right well so, that's always been a big big thing for me it's like I want instruments that I, I could personally afford it. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Uh, so that will <laughs> that will be outfitted with an SGI pickup. And uh, and I have SGI pickups actually arriving probably by this week. I'll have a whole batch. So I'll, I'll just, cool. we'll have more information out and uh, how to get some. And yeah. We'll start offering them because uh, we have enough road tests on them now to oh, realize yeah. that. All the ones that I have, oh, they're beautiful. Good. And uh, that'll be a... That's an ongoing branding strategy thing too that you're working on. It's just and it's going to be wicked when you get yeah. there. I, I have a funny feeling that that's all going to work out great. We need to clone you, and we need to clone Eve, we need to clone Dave, and yeah. then the, the world would be, you know. Hey, we're turning people one time, one guitar at a time. We just. But it, actually, it's I think it's bigger than that because you know you you've seen what we like the reaction to Absolutely. when people see this place, yeah. and to, I talk about you, and you talk about me. It's everybody wins. Everybody gets a great guitar. Yeah. And 
What's better than guitars? Nothing. <laughs> You're my man. You're the man. I love you, Roger. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. This has been my friend for many decades now. And you can not find a better person to buy a guitar from. He'll help you find the right one, and he'll make it affordable, and there you go. Brookhouse Guitars, Roger Schmidt. Hey, hey. I'm Jamie Thank Cormier. You. Thanks to our cameraman, Mr. Dave. Yeah, Dave. Hey. We love you. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Peace out.